Welcome to Funky Science. I'm Professor Teacher. And her sister is Nelly Welly. And today we're going to do a very, very fun experiment. Whoa! But before we start, let me tell you something about this experiment. This simple water experiment is sure to delight kids of all ages. The best part is, it only takes a few seconds to set up. This is what we will require. A glass, tissue paper, a basin with water. And remember kids, always have an adult supervising you as you're doing this experiment. Safety first! Certainly. Nelly, ready? Yes. Are you ready to start? Yes. So what we're going to do first we're going to take our glass. Yes. And then, you see this tissue paper? Uh huh. I want you to take a lot. And then we're going to, to put it into the cup. So here. A lot of it? Yes, continue. Does that look like it's a lot? Now, scrunch it up into a bowl and then push it into the cup. Like this? Yes, then push it into the cup. Oh, let's add more. Here. Add more tissue. Let's add more tissue. Does that look sufficient? Yeah, push it all in. Okay, so what we will do. Push it in. Try and hang it uh, back upside down and see. If you put it upside down, it doesn't come out, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So next, you're going to put it in to the water. Really fast. Yes, really fast. So, three, two, one, go! And let's see. And then pull it out really fast. Make sure no one gets it. <laughs> okay, then let me remove the <laughs> tissue. Look at it. Look at it. Oh my! Look at it. Look at the tissue. Is it red? No! <laughs> Tissue is not wet. <laughs> Imagine. It's not wet. No. Imagine it's not wet. There you go. There you go. The air pushes the water down and away from the glass. So the tissue is surrounded by air instead of getting near the water. This is why you could breathe underwater using the same method. Repeat the experiment, but this time tilt the glass while underwater. A bubble of air comes out of the glass and is quickly replaced with water. I hope you at home were able to try out this experiment. This is all we have for you today. See you next time on, on Funky Science. Bye!